Asia. There, even further back. There, we'll hold you out of focus, right there. All right, let's do it. Okay. Two cameras. Good AB, stuff, good stuff. Mark. I'll give an action for Brad here. Very good. We'll go on action. Set and action. Brothers, we've been chosen. The Lord's spoken to me. Visions of what's to come. A rise of good against evil. When I sat down to write this movie, for me, it was the story has to be told. What are we going to do? We'll fight. Nat Turner was an educated slave in Virginia who led the most successful slave rebellion in the history of our country. It was my job to show that story in a way that's honest and unapologetic. There is no film like this. It takes a village to make a film, and we were able to put together a team that was so incredible. This is what happens when people are activated and encouraged to work at the very, very, very height of their capacity. Everyone said this is important. I love my team! Nate set the tone, not only in the people that he cast and in the crew that he hired, but in the way that he was willing to go to great lengths to get what he needed. It really inspired the rest of us to do the same. Initially, the thing that drew me to the project was Nate and his passion. He put so much effort and work into this, I and mean, he put 10 years of solid effort into this movie. All right, let's do it. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. It was done in 27 days. There would be nights when it would be like 3 o'clock in the morning, and I could hear fatigue in Nate's voice. But he kept going, and he kept pushing. For him, you could just see, I have to do this. It really is an ambitious shoot. To make this movie in 27 days is almost impossible. But there was a sense that we were working on something special. I think there was a real passion from the crew all the way through the entire cast. I believed in this, and this is something I wanted to do. And you know, in 26 years in film, I can tell you I have never worked harder in my life. But what's interesting is I never wanted to work this hard in my life. Quiet, please. Up. I don't think the film could have been made unless we had that much care for one another. Every person, every department, every PA, you name it, we did become a bit of a family. Mr. Kirkland, you are my hero. This looks remarkable, utterly remarkable. Jeffrey Kirkland, our production designer, is the reason why the film looks the way it does, in the sense of scope and scale and texture. We were told that we couldn't build slave cabins. We don't have a budget, we just can't. The day Jeffrey Kirkland showed up, he said, Nate, I'm going to get you slave cabins. And not only did he build them, but they were perfect. How did he do it? I still don't know, but he did it. Really, we got our inspiration as much as anything from the locations. We shot in Georgia, and I think because slavery happened there, you know, those lives were lost there. You feel it in the ground. That doesn't go away. It never goes away. The unifying factor was the importance of this film being done correctly so it can be used as a healing mechanism. The importance of Web Birth of a Nation and telling the story of Nat Turner is that we still have work to do. We can learn something from Nat Turner because he said, I'm willing to sacrifice anything that I've gained on behalf of the freedom and liberation of my people. That is something I think, for me, that was worth telling the story for. Rebel!